with me. Hey. What's going on guys and welcome once again to our channel Cool Case Adventures. Your Central Florida family happens to be here at Universal Studios City Walk. And in this video guys, we're going to take you to dinner with us. We're going to the cowfish. For food. <laughs> Sorry. As you can see, little girl happens to be excited because she's hungry. So we're going to give you one of the videos that you guys enjoy the most when we are completely brutal honest with you. So are you excited to go back to the, I am excited. Cow, the cowfish? Are you excited I'm too? Excited to go to the cowfish. So as you heard or probably seen, we've been in the cowfish before only once. It probably was about a year and a half, two years ago. It's been a long time. We liked it. It ended up being one of our favorite spots here in this in City Walk. So we're going to see if things have changed, maybe gotten better. What do you think? Do you think they maintain it? I'm just ready for the food, Dad. I'm, I'm beyond the food. I'm ready for the food. She wants food. Like, we don't feed her, right? But anyways, we're gonna show you the menu, the process of how, how to get there. So I hope you guys are ready. So if you enjoy this type of content, the theme park content and restaurant review content, we highly suggest that you stick around because we got a bunch to show you. We also suggest that you subscribe and smash that like button. If we're sharing any valuable content with you. Are you guys ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on? So let's go. Wait, mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. So you guys know we made reservations. You can do reservation now through the Universal Studios app, which is something fairly new. Um, before I used to do it through uh, another application, but you know, since that they updated the application for Universal, now you could do any restaurant, which is pretty cool though. It's here and also the theme park, a lot easier. So our reservation is for eight o'clock, currently 8.03. Yeah. So, we definitely have to head in there. In case you didn't know, the cowfish is located right over here, right next to Vivo Italian Kitchen or the Red Oven Pizza. Basically, what they told me, when we, I actually did a check in, they told me what table do I prefer, and I told them whatever is available first. And they said, okay, we're gonna send you a text once the table is available. So, in case you didn't know, the cowfish basically is a combination of sushi and burger. It's pretty, de it's pretty decent. Prices are, you know, uh, moderate as well. A lot of people love it. Highly recommend to make reservations. Do not expect to come here and find something right away after you do visit the theme park because it's gonna be a lot, uh, a lot harder to find spot or they're gonna make you wait for a while. All right, so just got the text saying that the table is ready. We're gonna head inside now. All right, so where do we go? Oh, we gotta go upstairs, right? Yeah. Totally forgot that you gotta go upstairs for the table. You could also catch the elevator. All right, here we go, guys. I feel like they changed a couple of stuff in this restaurant. Can't figure it out yet. I did my workout for today. You did your workout for today? Yeah, we got two flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna put this. Feel free to pause the video so that way you can scan the QR code. We'll show you the entire menu. Alright guys, so here's the menu. Uh, obviously they start with the appetizers. They got quite a bit of appetizers. Uh, they have crab rangoon dip, tuna avocado tini, um, crispy calamari, spicy tugarashi. Why did I pick the, the hardest one? Spicy togarashi shrimp. Uh, sesame chicken bites. <laughs> they have, so they have quite a bit of appetizers. They have three salads. Uh, they have the classic makimono. Not really sure what that is, but oh, those are rolls. So those are your rolls. You have your fusion, fusion specialty rolls right here. Uh, it's quite a bit of them actually. And then you have your sushi bar selection. The burgush, burgushi, sushi, burgushi, 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 yeah. Which is a combination of the sushi and the. Which is a combination of the sushi <laughs> and a burger. Uh, that, I think that's what I had last time. I think I had the all American bacon double cheese. Cheese one, and that. Those, those were delicious. Uh, and then in the back, you're gonna see your burgers and that one chicken sandwich, which is what I'm gonna get because it sounds delicious. It's a chicken bacon avocado sandwich. That sounds really good. They do have two desserts. They have hand spun milkshakes. They also have spike shakes. So those, those are interesting. And then you have your specialty cocktails and your specialty mocktails. So the menu is pretty intensive. 
Uh, the entrees are about $20, $23. Um, one being $26. So you're looking about like $13 or $14, $15 for the appetizers and the milkshakes, I believe. All right, and Mary just said pretty much that it, usually people that get sushi, they get um, two. So you're looking about probably like $30 if you're trying to get two of the, of the sushi rolls. So, so, be, so people actually get two? Two orders? different ones? Yeah. Because, because yeah. you, have to, you have to realize it's like that when it comes to sushi rolls, sushi rolls are only about eight rolls. Oh. And it's like all night, so you only get eight rolls. It's like if you want something different, a lot of folks will get different, two different ones. Because gotcha. it's not enough. So for a family it's, of four, you're looking... It, it is enough. Like one is enough for food, yeah. but if you want variety, variety, a lot of like, I mean, I still get two. Right. It's like even at a low cost place. So you're looking for a hundred over a hundred dollars for our family of four. Pretty much, Easy. yeah. And then we're gonna show you later what we ended up ordering. Yes. We got a few drinks over here. If you guys didn't know, here and the cowfish, you could actually order shakes. This one is a spiked shake. This is, is this a regular shake, uh, Mary? Like what flavor is oh, no, it? No, it's a spiked shake. It's uh, the king's uh, lives. I don't know. The king lives. And then the kids actually, the kids actually ordered this. What was the s'more? Yes. Milkshake. The not the give me more s'more shake. Oh yeah. I have to remember that. That looks good though. It's big though. It's, it's big. But I will. You tried it, right? Uh, I tried the cherry. Oh, yeah, the cherry. And it was good. All right. So what was oh, it? Yeah. In? What was it in it? So this is the That's King Lips. It's fruits on rum, 99 banana liquor, vanilla ice cream, banana, and peanut butter cups. Dude, that sounds delicious and though. These, these cherries have been soaked in moonshine. Whoa, that sounds delicious. And then. Kyle and Kyle are sharing this shake. Yes, it's really good. It's really good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Vacation can be very exciting, but also very stressful. Sometimes it's hard to plan when you don't have all the answers needed or you're not sure about what process to follow. Trust us when we say it can be very time consuming. This is the reason why we encourage you to contact us and allow us the opportunity to be your travel agents. Cool Case Adventures is affiliated with PCO Travel, and our main goal is to help you plan your dream vacation so you can create the best memories of your life. Whether you want to go to Universal Studios Florida or Universal Studios Hollywood, we will be able to assist you planning every step of the way. We are certified Universal Studios travel agents and recognized as a Universal Preferred Travel Agency. And our knowledge in the parks, restaurants, and hotels can definitely help you with your planning. The best part is that it will not cost you anything extra. Let's start planning your next adventure. And for now, all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire in the description below, and we will be contacting you. Right away. How was the drink? That is really good. I didn't really taste the alcohol. Obviously it has alcohol, but it's not as strong because I made mean the banana liquor and, and, the, and the peanut butter overpowers the liquor. So that's dangerous. But then you took the cherry and that was... The cherry was definitely soaked oh, in moonshine. Like it was a nice wake up. I might be falling asleep in a couple minutes. So will you order it again? Yes, although they have a, a must-like one that I probably... Ooh, yeah. we should have gone for that. So here is how the calamari appetizer looks. I'm sure Mary and Khalil will have a fabulous time here in that. It's pretty good though. Nice and crispy. All right, Gary. All right. What do we have over here? Uh, you have your burger, the rice and swine burger. Okay, and then Khalil got the Texas Longhorn. Got the cheddar cheese, onion strings, jalapeno bacon, tangy barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, and on a brioche bun. Anyway, everything everything sounds delicious. Yes. Definitely, obviously, gonna try it out. Give you our family. Hopefully, as good as it looks. Right. Family feedback. Let's go. All right. Now that Karen just tried it, how is it? Chicken is really like it's really good. I didn't try it with the bread because it fell apart, but it's okay. But it's really good. I really like it. And the wasabi, what is it? Wasabi, man, wasabi mayonnaise? Yeah, I think so. Wasabi it's really mayonnaise. good. It's really good, actually. Then, Kalao is trying his Texas burger. Thumbs up. Anyway, as you can see, there's no more shake anymore. That's the reason why this one is kind of like backing, 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 backing away now. 
Huh? So that was a really, really bad decision. Bad decision? Good milkshake though. Just order it after. After, all right. But just order it, and if you have the patience, just leave it. Ha, <laughs> okay. Or, or share it on time. The damage is done. The damage is done. Wait, you did good. I did good. I did good. I liked it. Um, I kind of wish it had a little bit more avocado. Uh, but it was, it was good. The meat was really good. The chicken was really good. Chicken, I didn't eat the bread, but I'm not, I'm not a bread eater to begin with. So, not, no loss there. I actually left mine too. Because it was kind of hard. I think it was like, hard, but I'm not. It was hard to like buy it into it because it was too thick. Yeah, anytime, I think anytime you get a burger or anything that has like a lot of stuff in it, especially avocado, barbecue sauce, or anything like that, onions, it's just hard to to be able to eat. Right. So it's easier just to. Eat it with and then I guess the kids they are done because of that shake. Yeah. They, they actually have a two whole box right there. Thankfully, we only ordered one milkshake for them to share. We yeah. would have been screwed. Yeah, they would have not eaten at all. Deep trouble, though. Would have been deep trouble. Well, technically, it's not really deep trouble because we ordered one milkshake for the kids. So we're like, okay, we're going to share it. Yeah. Because we don't want them to be like, oh, I don't want to eat that. We could have saved money that way. We could have saved money. Yeah. Or Carla and I could have shared as well. Because I ate that second part because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to take it. But well, that will be leftover lunch for tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> okay, we back. Alrighty, guys. So that you have it here from City Walk. Sorry that we got you here in the car. By the time that we left the restaurant, it was uh, the both of the parks were exiting. Yeah. It was so it's it's, yeah. it's hard to record anything when both parks are, are exiting at the yeah, same time. You know, it's loud. like you're in the middle of thousands of people. There's a lot of people. So it's too loud. The music's going. We decided to do it here anyway. Um, overall, your experience on on the I cowfish. like cowfish. I really enjoyed it. You really enjoyed it. Yes. Is it as good as uh, the last time? It was delicious. Again, I would I would have liked to have more avocado because I think I literally think there's only like one piece on mine at least. Um, it had a lot of bacon, but it only has one piece of avocado. That I would have wished it would have more, but it was still it was still good. Like the chicken was seasoned really well. Hello. Um, it was really good, and it's like one of those go-to places that if you don't know where to eat but you want to eat out, I would go there. Kyla. I agree with everybody. <laughs> um, in regards to my burger, I think. You're right. It had a lot of bacon. Yeah. So if you're a bacon lover, you're going to be good. Which I now, loved. Now, the issue for me was that the patty was very dry, in my opinion. So for I can remember, I like it better the first time. But I'm not going to knock it down either. It's still one of my favorite places here in City Walk. Definitely recommend it. Overall, everybody recommend Thumbs families up. to Thumbs come up. here. Thumbs up. How yeah. much? The how, how was the bill? hundred and nine I think it was oh, I think no it was, oh and with, then, that, and with, then we, and with then my we annual asked, pass, with the annual discount, pass it came back to 101 101 and then yeah. with the gratuity and all that I think it was like 120 something which is not bad you yeah. know for a family of four you know just understand every time that you go to a restaurant whether it's here or Disney Spring for a family of four everybody getting something individually um, you're looking over the hundred dollar right. Now, and we keep, also bought a milkshake. I was gonna say you also got a, a milkshake. Yeah. Um, and best believe it was a good milkshake and it was kind of big, so I'm kind of glad that Mink color shared it. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they wanted to each order one, and we say, "How about you order only order one?" Because we we know our kids pretty much at this point, they're gonna get full and they're not gonna finish their their, din their dinner, and they still didn't finish it. It's okay. It's for lunch. Yeah. yeah. No. No, it's I did not it bad. strategically and I drank as much as possible so that way exactly so you wouldn't have to make you see we oh. thought about you wow we you thought guys, about you sure, guys sure, no, sure, sure. you guys are so sweet you're right we anyway you. guys with that sweetness we're just gonna <laughs> leave you here sadly this adventure has ended with that said we gotta remind everybody too subscribe and smash that like button turn on both notifications bing 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 and feel free to comment down below always remember to smile out be great be cool and stay awesome see you guys next adventure bye, bye guys. guys boom Boom. Boom. See ya. Bye.